the long way videos here. All right, so the last video I taped was making or tying a hook using a Palomar knot, which is a great knot for kids to use because it's like learning how to tie their shoes. Um, if you add a weight at the bottom, it creates um, a setup called a drop shot. And when you drop shot, you can put anything you want on these hooks. You could use smaller hooks, bigger hooks. This is the basic setup. Um, I would recommend using um, clear line. This is just for example purposes. These are some of the worms that I like to put on there and a lot of the plastics. So a lot of people didn't like playing with real worms and so I didn't like dealing with bait and having to keep bait alive. So artificial lures are a lot of fun and they're a lot of fun to buy. Anyways, these were the hot worm back in the day. Back in the day, we called these green weenies. Um, I don't know why, if it was the brand or what it was. Um, magic worms, there's all kinds of different uh, worms out there right now. I actually find these all the time in the clearance bins, which is great um, at Walmart and places like that. Um, this is my favorite color. This color is really natural. Um, and so I would go with a, a pinkish color um, for clear water lakes. You know, again, this is for clear water lakes. This is to improve your hookup ratio and to help you catch way more fish if you get more natural and smaller, um, soft plastic. These have lots of, um, of salt in them. So when the, when the fish bite them, they, they hit them. So this is the drop shot. Um, what are you going to use on them? You know, you just basically hook it up right here and rig it up that way. These are great worms. I like the four, four inch, I think they're four inch, four and a half inch. So if you get enough, they wiggle. So you, your, your, your idea is that the way at the bottom is going to be sitting on the, on the, on the bottom. So sometimes you want a nice short one. That way it looks like this is a little fish that's feeding on the, on the bottom. And maybe this is just a pebble moving around and, and you just wiggle it and it, it, it makes it just jiggle and you don't even have to move it more. Basically the way you fish is you just wiggle your rod tip. Um, so when you drop shot fish, that, that's a really killer, killer setup. Um, go to the store, find some different colors. I, I don't know, it's just fun. This one I bought because it, it, it mimics a rainbow trout. So if you're fishing any, any of the uh, reservoirs, one of the main bass feeds is the planter trout. Planter trout, the small ones, the anything, but anything with like some type of little green in it and white. I think these are all made for fishermen. I could sit all day long and just use this one color and catch as many bass as I want. Um, so that's the the lowdown as far as the drop shot. I think it's a great um, little technique. Um, I would use darker colors in the Delta where it's way dirtier water. Um, I think that's something I would definitely adjust and probably bigger, a bigger bait, but same size. Probably have to use a bigger weight because you're dealing with um, maybe going through some weeds, punch some mats. But anyways, it's drop shot. Um, give that a shot, give that a try. Again, it's weedless, so when a kid's casting it, chances of it going into somebody's head, somebody's ear or something, um, slim to none. Um, also, it's easier to get out of snags and get out of trees when they cast it on shore. All right, so Di Wang Wei, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed my instructional videos. More to come on how to um, fish with kids and make it more enjoyable and different techniques. All right, Di Wang Wei, take kid fishing.